Hey, what's going on, guys? Sacktown Pete, back at it again. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope everybody had a great weekend. Um, good, good start to the homestand tonight. Um, you're on a four-game, five-game homestand, and tonight was a good game to get a dub to start off the homestand the right way, man. Uh, final score from Sacramento, the Kings 108, the 76ers 96. Uh, very good win. Historic night. Damar and Sabonis uh, got the consecutive double-double records. He broke Kevin Love's consecutive double-double record, should I say. Uh, Damar and Sabonis now has 54 straight double-doubles. Uh, 33 minutes for Sabonis tonight. 11 points, 10 assists, 13 rebounds. Not only was it a double-double, but it was a triple-double. He only took five shots. He was 3-5. of He had 11 points, but he was a plus 15. He dominated this game on the boards and with his assists. So a special historic night for Domas, man. Um, we are grateful to have Demonis Sabonis in the Sacramento Kings uniform. Um, our franchise dynamics changed when we traded for Demonis Sabonis, and it changed for the better because we've been searching for a dominant big like Sabonis for a long, long time. Um, grateful for his talents. Never take this man's game for granted. Uh, he is our king, and we're grateful for him, man. Harrison Barnes in 26 minutes tonight. He had six points. He had three rebounds. He had one assist. Keegan Murray went off. He had a good, good, strong game. 38 minutes for Murray tonight. He had 23 points. He had four assists, one block, three rebounds. Um, overall, he had 19 of his 23 points in the first half. Uh, really strong game. And, you know, in the second half, he got a couple good looks and got four, four of his 23 points in the second half. Uh, really good to see Keegan get back-to-back 20-plus -back point games, man. De'Aaron Fox in 37 minutes tonight. He had 23 points. He had two steals, five assists, eight rebounds for De'Aaron Fox. Um, overall, eight of 18. Definitely missed some bunnies that he usually custom. He's normally accustomed to making. But when we needed him the most, um, he got it done tonight. And uh, really light, good work for De'Aaron Fox. Keon Ellis in 24 minutes. He had five points. He had one block, one assist, and two rebounds for Keon Ellis. Let's take a look at the bench. Uh, Slauson got a minute towards the end of the game. He had zero points. Kessler Edwards got two minutes towards the end of the game. He had zero points. JaVale McGee got a minute towards the end of the game. He had zero points. Alex Lynn got 11 minutes tonight for Alex Lynn. He had seven points. He had uh, two blocks for Alex Lynn. Five rebounds. Good, good work in 11 minutes that Alex Lynn got tonight. Malik Monk in 26 minutes. He had 11 points. He had four rebounds. He had four assists. One steal for Malik Monk tonight. Chris Duarte got 13 minutes. He had four points. You know, he got a lot of good open looks from beyond the arc. Um, they just didn't go in. You know, a couple of shots were um, it was just catch and shoot, and there were good looks. They just didn't go in for Duarte, but still made the most of his minutes, man. Uh, Kobe Jones got two minutes towards the end of the game. He had two minutes. He had zero points. And I think the best part off the bench tonight and probably the best guard on the court tonight was Davion Mitchell, man. Shout out to off night. 25 minutes of work for Davion Mitchell tonight. He had 18 points. He had two rebounds. Um, he had zero assists, but he was a plus eight. And um, Davion Mitchell's energy, you know, coming in, Mike Brown checks him in for a couple seconds and takes him back out. I'm just shaking my head. I'm like, what was the point even take putting Davion Mitchell in the game, Mike Brown, when you're only going to check him in for a few seconds and then take him out? Uh, only that led to later on throughout the game that led him to uh, – putting Davion Mitchell back in the game. And Davion Mitchell was disruptive and wrecking havoc defensively. Defensively, going after after Maxi after Maxi had that big first quarter in the first half, should I say, and wrecking havoc, fighting through screens, um, drawing some uh, offensive fouls. Davion Mitchell is built for this shit, man. And it was really great to see Davion Mitchell offensively get it done tonight. Um, really, really good, great game for Davion Mitchell off the bench tonight, man. So it was really good to see Day go off. And um, three-point shots looking good. And overall, just move without the ball and even just move with the ball in his hands, man. Really good to see Davion Mitchell active and very active tonight. So shout out to Off Night. Overall for the game, we shot 44% from the field. 10 of 38, that's 26%. Uh, knowing that we made 10 three-pointers, that's not a good clip to be at. Uh, we can shoot a lot better than 26%. And, you know, free throw shooting, 22 of 28 tonight, that's 78% there. I will say, in the month of March, the Kings have been the fourth best free throw shooting team in the NBA. Uh, positive step forward, man, because we know this team has had their terrible 
woes from the free throw line this season. And uh, the month of March has been good for the Kings. So hopefully they can keep that up. And uh, with tonight's win, uh, we are now 42-29. and 29. We are sixth in the Western Conference. The Phoenix Suns lost tonight. Um, the Dallas Mavericks won. But since we won tonight, we own the tiebreaker currently right now against the Dallas Mavericks. And that's why we are in sixth. They are in seventh. And the Suns are in eighth. So two big games. I mean, two big games tomorrow against the Dallas Mavericks. We'll be on a second half of back-to-back. -back. The Dallas Mavericks will be on a second half of back-to-back. -back. No excuses. It's fair. And Friday, you see you have the Dallas Mavericks again. So these two home games against the Dallas Mavericks are big time, man. Uh, big time. Uh, you have the season series lead on them right now because you won a couple games in Dallas. And these two games are in Sacramento. So come out, defend your home court, get it done. Uh, we really need these games. And, you know, I hope that the Kings get it done. You know, Luka, Luka Doncic, Kyrie Irving, we all know what they're capable of. We know they're a handful. You know, the, the games that Kyrie Irving and Luka Doncic have played together against the Kings, there have been some close, fun, and entertaining games. But I think that the Kings uh, will be ready for this game. And um, they got to bring it. They got to get it done. And they should be able to get it done. So uh, with that being said, I'm looking forward to tomorrow night's game. It's gonna be a uh, it's gonna be very electric because we all know what's at, what's at stake right now when it comes to playoff seating, and um, the Dallas Mavericks will be ready for it too. So tonight's game it was a great start to this homestand. Looking forward to seeing how the Kings play tomorrow and then Friday. You're playing Luke 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 Launchish and Kyrie Irving again. So. Big, big week for the Kings, man. Big, big week for the Kings. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comment section below. Uh, that's going to be it for tonight's video. I really do appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, Demonis Sabonis, man. Um, All-time record getter. All-time record holder now. And uh, we are grateful for Demonis Sabonis' talents. So with that being said, that's going to do it for tonight's video. I'll catch you guys in the next video. You guys have yourself a great night. Take care. God bless. Keep pushing forward. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.